guys, Randy Babel here. I'm a commercial licensed drone operator for a company called Digital Drone Images. I'd like to show you some aerial mapping missions that we did so you can see how the drone actually works to help builders and project developers out on the building site. First thing that's most important is the flight safety when we actually do our launches. This is very critical in relation to any drone operation. Once the drone's actually in the air, we actually fly a, a grid pattern over the top of the property and we come up with a series of image, images that we stitch together to form our aerial mapping. From these images, we can get a two-dimensional map for bird's eye view and you can see here this is the same site taken on four different occasions so you can actually see how the project itself has been developing over that period of time. What we also do is we put together elevations uh, on that property. You can see the different levels are indicated. The deeper the blue color means the lower your level. The darker the red color means the higher the level of elevation on the building site. You can see here how the site has changed over that period of time, which is about an eight week period. What we're then able to gather is a 3D mapping of the site. The 3D mapping is quite good because you can get an aerial perspective from a 360 degrees on three different axes. So you can spin the map around and take a look at uh, your building site in each one of the different stages. This is quite good and you can be used together with your elevation mapping to determine the size of the piles or the depth of the holes that you dug uh, and uh, to see where the project is of the site as a whole. This information is also quite good when you're sitting on a desk away from the site because you can really make quite a, a, a lot of site evaluations without actually having to be on site. You can also zoom the 3D imaging in, as you can see here, to get a closer viewpoint uh, from the various different perspectives. One of the main things with the drones is the site information that you can actually gather. Several different tools, measurement tools, that can give you uh, different aspects of your site that you need to be aware of, um, being the manager of that site. Um, this one showing here is you can actually track the volume of different piles of sand or different, different materials that are actually on site. You can tag that information and you can actually compare that on a week-to-week -week basis to see whether the, uh, how much material is being used. Um, and you can also then track uh, different sections of, site, of the site as well to check out your project development. You can zoom in on a specific section. You can look at the materials that are actually being used. Basically check the progress of each one of the different site areas um, to see uh, how the site is coming along. Once again, very good, useful tool when you're not actually on site. Um, because you can get this information, you can take a look at it from your office um, to see what's going on. Also, any clients or investors that you have can also see the site project um, from the comfort of the chair in their office as well. Checking the measurements is a really great tool. Um, you can do check out your lineal measurements um, as well as uh, the area, and you can also tag this information on your mapping as well. Um, again, a good thing for assessing and managing the site. Um, also for checking for quantities for your cubic meters of, um, uh, for concrete and for, for fill and whatnot is in relation to what you need. Um, the accuracy on this can be down to 10 millimeters. Um, it's really dependent upon where your mouse click is um, and the overlay that's actually taken at the time uh, of the drone mission. All these annotations as well can be cleared on your site map. Um, and this is once again is something that can be shown to you once you're utilizing the process. Here I'm showing you, two, this is a, a, a site of relatively the same size, but it's actually a more completed site now. It's in its final stages. Um, and you can see here, once again, you can do your, your aerial overview as well as your check your elevations. And you get your 3D mapping so you can see what's going on here as well. Um, the mapping, this, this was taken, at, I believe, at about 200 feet um, high, this one here. 
in your mapping overlay um, is going to determine on your side elevations. And now we can also do a um, elevation mapping as well if you want to see what's happening on the um, on the side of an elevation for a high rise such as this. Uh, at this stage, one of the critical things I think is the individual photos that you can actually take and utilize because using these high quality individual images, you can uh, you can again track your progress and check materials and and uh, do site inspections because this can zoom in quite well. Um, once again, depending upon the image that we take, this was a JPEG image, but if we go raw. It will actually give you a higher resolution, and you can zoom quite low on this. Um, this is once again great for, for inspecting the site. Um, like I said, you can see there's a, a series of photos that are overlapped, um, and you can check out various information and zoom quite uh, quite low to the ground to check out and see what's happening on your site. Again, useful for tracking your site, tracking progress, see what materials are stored, um, doing a general site site information survey. Uh, from your office desk and you don't actually necessarily need to be on site. Um, that's the, This is some of the general information that can be gathered. You can gather quite a bit more. I suggest you actually give me a call and we can discuss um, me, my, me coming down to your, to your work site and I can take a look at it and I'll do a, an initial uh, flight mission so you can uh, see how the setup is there. You can see how I, I set up and stage the actual flight and then from there we can look at um, if we schedule weekly, bi-weekly or monthly uh, monthly missions uh, to really help you out. Anyway, listen, I'm Randy uh, Randy Babel, Digital Drone Images, Licensed Commercial Operator. Uh, you can give me a call. You can check out the details on our website, which is at uh, www.digitaldroneimages.com. I hope to hear from you soon and that you're able to utilize this uh, technology because it really is, uh, it really will help you out with your building sites. Mm -hmm.